Welcome to today's Code HS tutorial on Shape Stack. In this lesson, we'll learn how to have Tracy draw a stack of squares and circles from the bottom of the canvas all the way to the top. Please be sure to change your viewing setting to 1080p by clicking on the gear icon at the bottom of this video. In this exercise, your goal is to create a visually appealing stack of shapes by combining functions and for loops. By the end of this lesson, you'll have practiced writing multiple functions and using loops to build a dynamic drawing, all while keeping your code clean and organized. A function is a named block of code that performs a specific task. It lets you bundle instructions together so you can reuse them throughout your program without rewriting the same code. Here are a few key points regarding functions. Modularity. Functions break your code into smaller, manageable pieces. For example, in our shape stack lesson, we used separate functions to draw squares and circles. Reusability. Once defined, a function can be called multiple times from different parts of your program. Parameters and return values. Functions can accept inputs, parameters, and can also return a value after processing. Organization. They help make your code more organized and easier to understand, following the don't repeat yourself, dry principle. In Python, you define a function using the def keyword, then give it a name, parameters if needed, and a block of code. Soon we will create a function for each shape. Let's take a look at what we need to do for this problem. Each shape will be 50 pixels wide and 50 pixels tall. The stack will be perfectly centered on the canvas. The bottom shape is a square, and the shapes will alternate between squares and circles as you move upward. Let's look. Here are a few tips regarding functions. Create separate functions for drawing each shape helps keep your code uncluttered. Each function will not only handle the drawing, but will also reposition Tracy for the next shape and stacking with a loop. A for loop will repeat the drawing process until the stack reaches the top of the canvas. This repetition allows us to alternate between drawing a square and a circle efficiently. With that in mind, the first thing we will need to do is create functions for the shapes. For the square, we'll create a function to draw a square. Tracy will draw the square and then move to the position where the next shape, a circle, should be drawn. Circle. We'll also create a function for drawing a circle. Remember, when drawing a circle, Tracy starts at the bottom center of the circle when facing right. Code. Walk through. Let's break down the sample code. We'll start with the command speed arrow. We begin with speed arrow to make Tracy draw as fast as possible, ensuring our drawing appears instantly. Then we position Tracy at the starting point by using the pin up command to make sure Tracy does not make a trail. And then we use the set position 25, 200 command which places her in the center at the bottom of the canvas. Next, we will define a function to draw a square and then moves to the position to draw a circle on top. Make sure that you indent the code blocks in the functions and in the loops by using the tab key on your keyboard. The draw square function does two things. One, it draws a square by moving forward 50 pixels and turning left four times. Two, after drawing, it repositions Tracy by moving her up, preparing her to draw the circle next. The code should look like this. Def draw square, pen down, for I in range, four, forward, 50, left 90, pen up, left 90, forward 50, right 90, forward 25. Similarly, the draw circle function does two things as well. One, it draws a circle with a radius of 25 pixels. 
two, it then repositions Tracy to get ready for the next square. The code we need for those things to happen will look like the following. Def draw circle, pen down, circle, chapter 25, pen up, backward, chapter 25, left, 90, forward to 50, right 90. Finally, we will set Tracy to the start position and then pull both of the functions we defined into a for loop that is iterated four times so that Tracy will draw four squares and four circles, alternating. Here is what that will look like. Pin up, set position, 25, 200, for I in range, four, draw square, draw circle. Let's run it and check the code. And it looks like we're golden. Make sure you click the save and submit buttons before you exit out of Code HS. That's it for this tutorial. Be sure to subscribe and turn on those notifications so you'll know when new content is added to the channel. Thanks again and see you down the line.